Phil Linnett's mirror base to vintage recording equipment to instruments, photographs and films. The Irish Rock and Roll Museum in Dublin's Temple Bar is the ultimate trip through Ireland's rich rock and roll history. They've even dug up a blank check signed by Bono. And there's also a chance to experience what it's like to be a rock star. Well, for a few hours at least. The doors have just opened, so let's take a look. Hi, good morning. You're all very welcome to the Irish Rock and Roll Music Experience here at the Button Factory. And my name is Brian and I'm going to be bringing you on our tour today. We're going to see some amazing memorabilia. We're going to learn a bit about Irish rock and roll. And we're also going to experience what it's like to be in the music business in this working venue. So if you'd like to come, are you ready to rock and roll? Okay, let's rock and roll. And as we wander through the venue, we see amazing things like Michael Jackson's pajamas. And here we are at the Colm Henry uh, exhibit of some of the great rock and roll photographs. And in this one here, we have a very young Sinead O'Connor, just about to head off to America back in 1986, as she's about to sign her very first recording contract. A very lovely photograph of Sinead. So here we are in the green room, and this is where rock bands prepare for going on stage. When you're in a rock band, you need a rider. Now a rider is things that the extra bits that the bands want before they go on stage. Here we have some classic examples. David Bowie, who played at this very venue, he asked for his dressing room to be maintained at between 14 and 18 degrees. Very reasonable. You contrast that with Slayer, the, the heavy rock band, they wanted 50,000 live bees for their performance, 100 snow white goats and a halal butcher to slaughter the goats. Very rock and roll. And since the 70s and 80s uh, and all that's happened from that era um, with the m massive amount of bands uh, that have, have come up through Dublin and through Ireland um, there has been no uh, really celebration of, of, of the rock uh, music industry in Ireland and then uh, thankfully now uh, we've, we've, we've hit that mark and we've started the Irish Rock and Roll Museum. Won't be long, won't be long till summer comes Now that the boys are here again 